Hello everyone, welcome again to Poder.net, Vincent Chan here. Today we have two units of Intel's 10 Gen CPUs, the Core i5-10600K that has 6 cores and 12 threads, and also the flagship Core i9-10900K that has 10 cores and 20 threads. We have the mid-range and also the flagship. Interesting enough? Well, let's go! The 10 Gen Intel Core processor sees the fifth iteration of Intel's Skylake microarchitecture on the 40 nanometer node. Dubbed Comet Lake, this junction brings more cores and higher clocks than ever. There's also some security mitigations to fix the security flaws in the previous generations that came before Comet Lake. But before we get down and dirty with the processors, we are testing these processors on the ASUS ROG Maximus 12 Formula motherboard. It's a really premium motherboard, so we are pretty sure we won't be held back by the motherboard. For memory, we are using Team Group T-Force Extreme ARGB GBDDR4-3600CL14 RAM. And to tame the temperatures of the CPU, we have the Cooler Master ML240R all-in-one liquid cooling solution. And last but not least, we use the ROG Strix GeForce RTX 2070 Super for our gaming benchmarks. Now, without further ado, let's move on to the scores. Starting with Cinebench, we see that the single-core performance delivered by the common leg processors aren't all that exciting, which is what you would expect from an aging core architecture. The 10 Gen Intel Core processors do begin to distance themselves from the Zen 3-based competition with higher clocks though, which is still an advantage that Intel holds over the competition. The ability to run higher clocks on more cores with the Intel Core i9-10900K still allows it to be very formidable competition to the AMD offerings. In Realbench, which tests performance in scenarios more similar to real-life usage, we can see that the Intel Core i5-10600K delivers performance on par with the 6 core parts from the competition. However, once overclocked to 4.9GHz, it develops a good 6% lead over the AMD Ryzen 5 3600X. As you might expect, the Intel Core i9-10900K is a lot faster even at stock, owing to the higher core count and also faster clocks before overclocking. Stepping on a 5.1GHz overclock brings the overall score to 223,043, or a good 33% faster than the Intel Core 10600K. But of course, that's what you would expect when you're comparing a flagship with the mid-range. Now moving on to 7-zip, the ridiculous amount of cache of the AMD processors seem to give them an advantage even when compared against the flagship Intel Core i9-10900K in the compression benchmark. The decompression benchmark however sees the i9 part pull way ahead, although the Core i5-10600K still doesn't do too well here, even with the overclock slap on. Now, let's take a look at the gaming performance. Intel's main sales pitch with the 10 Gen Intel Core processors is gaming, and as you might expect, they deliver the goods. Of course, the performance difference is more significant in games that are more CPU limited like Rainbow Six Siege, where you can see the Core i5-10600K offering up 11% better performance than the Ryzen 5 3600X. The Intel Core i9-10900K is even faster, pushing 306 FPS. In games that are more GPU limited like Ghost Recon Breakpoint, we still see that the Intel chip delivers 5 more frames per second than the Ryzen 5 3600X, although both Intel CPUs deliver the same 100 FPS before overclocking and an additional 1 FPS after getting the healthy overclock. With great performance comes greater power draw too. The Intel Core i5-10600K draws up to 97.47W in rear benches stress test, which is still well below the 125W TDP it is rated for, allowing it to run at its all-core boost of 4.5GHz throughout the 15-minute run. Once overclocked, it drew 133.25 watts. In contrast, the AMD Ryzen 5 3600 and Ryzen 5 3600X draw 65.98 and 66.34 watts in the same test, respectively. The Intel Core i9-10900K draws up to 191.81 watts before it runs out of boost and clocks down to 4.3 GHz to abide by the 125W TDP limit until the end of the run. When running at 5.1 GHz, it draws 207.66 watts. Do note that you are looking at a pretty realistic stress test as real bench test stability by running 3D rendering, video encoding, and file compression workloads. So if you hammer the CPU with a synthetic benchmark like IDA64 or Linux, you might see yourself running into much higher power draws. The 10 Gen Intel Core processors are definitely starting to show the age of the microarchitecture behind it. With that said, the Intel Core i5-10600K can still be a pretty decent option for gamers with higher frame rates in all games, although performance in productivity isn't exactly on the same level as AMD's 6 core parts. The 10 core Intel Core i9-10900K is probably a harder to justify part with its $488 SRP, as the competition is offering more cores for about the same money. If you see yourself playing older games and probably streaming them, then yes, the 10 Gen Intel Core processors might be right up your alley, but if you see yourself playing more modern games, AMD's higher core count might have the upper hand, especially if you are planning to do more than just gaming on your system. Intel definitely has their work cut out for them, especially in the high-end segment, but the mid-range segment is still a fight Intel can win if the market prices come in below the current $262 suggested retail price for the Core i5-10600K. Please let us know what you guys think about the 10 Gen Intel Core processors and leave them down in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys did, please subscribe to our channel, like our Facebook page and follow us on Instagram. We thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!